was minding my own business, just trying to build something on Roblox with the heck of it. And that's when I realized Roblox has done it again. They updated studios. Why, I do not know. Does it look nice? I suppose. Is it more complicated? I suppose. If you're used to the old way. That's how Roblox really is. They release something, you're confused, you finally get used to it. And then they release a completely different version and you gotta relearn that and repeat. Back then, as you remember, it used to be view, team, create, but that doesn't work anymore. It does, but you know, you gotta go through a different process, and I'm going to explain that to you. So, if you're someone who wants to add your friend to Roblox Studios to build something, or for whatever reason, this video is for you, a simple video. So, the first step you're gonna to have to do is go ahead and save to Roblox. I'm just gonna leave it at that, I don't really care, but you're gonna have to save it. Um, why it makes you do that, don't know. Um, it is a good feature, but anyway. So you save the game, and now you're going to go to Collaborate. It's right up here, and bam. So I guess that's easier. Um, just a little different way of getting there. But you can always click Collaborate, and it's going to always prompt you to save. But you can just go in and save and beat the system, and bam. So Roblox has actually listened to many um, of the complaints, which is great. And that's that it let's just put some random person name in here and it says specifically only friends can have added access which is amazing I am so glad that they finally added it because so many of you guys are complaining to me oh why can't I add so-and-so and the answer to that was they have to be your friend which doesn't really make sense but I guess that protect protects people from getting maps stolen and all that stuff so I'm just gonna add my alt account right here and go in and push and it makes sure it tells you it's friends so you just seen that so now he has edit access now am i unsure that it'll give you access to play let's just put some random name in here uh let's see it's a random person there's just no one with that name uh let's just type in nick it's a pretty common name and they only have access to play so, if you want someone to edit your game, they have to be specifically your friend. You can always change the option, so if they're like an editor or a builder for your group, then you can have it set to edit. If they're a tester for your group or just someone you want to test to play the game, you can set it to play. But if they're not your friend on Roblox, they're only able, I guess, to play. So if that makes sense, I go ahead and save it to Roblox, and bam. Alright, so many of you recently have been also asking, how do I give my friend the link to my game so they can edit it? Or how can I receive the game once they have given me edit access to edit it? And so first I want to explain how you can give it to your friend. So first thing, you're going to want to go to your create and go to your experiences. So this is the game I just created, as I showed earlier, and click this title right here. And what you can do is copy the link and send it to your friend. So for example, my friend Alejandro, he sent me his link and this is to his game. I can just click the link and I can go up to here and edit. If not, I can play it if I only have play access. Um, so another example would be Roblox Studios itself. You just go to my games and share with me and I see his game right here, Alejandro 300, and I can click on that to edit it. So hope that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions, just pop it in the comment section. I'll get to it, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.